But yeah, I do want to work on this set more. The set definitely needs to be fixed up. No, we can't be the kickback podcast and have a shitty kickback. The I, kickback's the kickback. I you know? think it's a nice kickback. I think it's a nice solid spot. But there could be some changes. Could be some changes. Um, I just haven't made like finalized decisions. You know? Yeah. I feel you. Like what color is the wall? Dude. What color should the wall be? Dude, the wall should be. I'm. I made my wall gray. It's worked pretty solid for me. I would. I, I need to do more. Um, I need to do more like, uh, well, not say films, but more like scenes in my room because I I worked pretty hard on my room. Like I painted it. You know, what I'm saying put lights on it. You know, uh, got some cool cool posters for myself. Even well, most of the posters. Did you put the green? Drawings. I didn't put the green. I think a ghost did that. Orange. Orange is pretty, that's yellow, no? Orange? Yeah, that's a little more orangey. Yeah. But yeah, I did a lot of work Good. on my room. It looks pretty nice, looks pretty crispy. I haven't seen your room like completely. I'll invite you. But I have time. like I have like an idea of what it looks like. Mm-hmm. But I don't know for sure. Damn, that's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna go into your room and I'll just be like, whoa, this <laughs> is not what I expected. The bed is over here, not over here. Ah. Dude, the, the I need to get a freaking futon or something. I do not like having a big bed. Oh, what if you do like one of those things that like... It flips in? Yeah, you just hook it on the wall. Mm. And then once you're done, or when you want to use it, you just unhook it and then it just goes down. I'd rather sleep on the floor if I'm, if I'm being honest, bro. Fuck it. Sleeping on the floor is... A roll-out not- mattress type thing? No, not a roll-up mattress. Like a- no, like a little mat is what I'm trying to say. So that way you're not like directly on the floor. Uh-huh. Instead of putting like a blanket, you just put like a little mat. I think I heard somewhere that it's actually better to um, lay on the on the ground, like flat on the ground type shit. Whenever we watch movies upstairs, mm-hmm. I'm always on the floor. I got used to it. I used to always watch movies on the floor like that. Mm-hmm. But I don't know where I heard it from, but... I don't know. Not a futon. Is a futon even the right word? Because futon's a couch. Yeah. That wouldn't be so bad. Sleeping on the couch? No, but because it, it's a couch, but it turns into a bed. Oh, yeah. Or get a couch that you can like pull it out. Too. What's, the, what's the ones that the Japanese uh, use? You know, and they have like the, they have a little pillow and they have the little mat. And then they're just laying on that. You know what I'm saying? No. Ooh, I, there's a, a, let me see. The, for see we got. A, like a Japanese type bed. Yeah. Mm. I don't think it's a Japanese bed. It Japanese probably is a Japanese bed. bed. That's what I searched up on Google. Let's see what comes up. Oh, those are actually kind of nice. It is nice. a futon. Air yeah. weave futon. Yeah, it would be a futon. I ain't tripping. Woo. Air weave Japanese futon. Yes, sir. You see how they sleep, bro? Comfortable, peaceful bed. You know what I'm saying? Because a futon, to me, well, this is what I thought a futon was. I thought it was like a beanbag couch. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but it's usually like this, right? And yeah. then you just push this thing forward just like that. And uh-huh. then it flips into like a f- flat bed. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But they're usually uncomfortable. Like, Those? Yeah. Yeah. Like I'd rather much sleep on the floor yeah, than a futon. Besides the fact, how's your week been, bro? It's Thursday today. Dang, it's Thursday? It's Thursday already. Dude, time is flying. We're in May. The 12th of May. Hey, in three more days. Oh, my mom's calling me. All right, bet. Hello? In three more days, freaking TikTok, um, TikTok doesn't unban me. I'm me. recording. That's why I don't know how to do. Okay. Bye. <laughs> She's like, I'm here for the package. Package are the kids. Oh. Or for Valerie. <laughs> for Valerie. She's here for Valerie. And um, I was like, um, what do I do? <laughs> I'm like, do I leave? Do I stop? Do I... She said, I just call Monica. I was like, oh, cool. But yeah, you were saying? What was I saying? Oh, it's May 12th. And in three more days, um, I get my live pri- pri- I get my live privileges back. Your live privilege? Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Those fu- it's fucking TikTok, man. I hate them. I hate them so much, man. Well, I don't know why they keep discriminating against me. Me of all people, I'm just trying to build a cool community. You know what I'm saying? In terms of what I like doing. So what happened? You were just streaming. You were streaming because I, I was yeah. in your streaming. It was it was solid. Like people were joining. You know what I'm saying? I, I like. That I'm starting small and then it's just getting up, up, up. Mm-hmm. So like when I saw that it was like from three to sixteen, you know what I'm saying, and twenty, I was like, oh shit, that was pretty quick, you know. What yeah, I'm and you had like, like a cool hour. what, like eighteen consecutive viewers. Mm-hmm. That was good. That was very good. But then I was like, like as soon as it hits that 
that hour mark. Uh huh. I haven't gotten past the hour mark, bro, because I always get suspended. Oh, take me out for hateful behavior. Why? I have no idea. Hmm. Maybe, maybe it's the commentary. I don't know. Maybe it probably you... is a commentary because, <laughs> like you said, bro, I be saying the n word too much on, on on stream. I don't know why that's such a problem to them. You know what I'm saying? Uh. uh but uh, <laughs> also, I want I want TikTok to allow weed more. Mm. Like for actual like cool content, yeah, stoner content. I see. Uh, there's this one guy that Dorian has showed me. Uh-huh. His name is like Coffee Films or something, and he was like smoking a cigarette, but he made it look cinematic. You know, so he has like cinematic, okay, yeah. So he has like cinematic scenes, and you know, like that cool bad guy type, you know, uh, trope. Yeah, and yeah. Just have you know, what I'm saying. So he was just like, yeah, like, yeah, okay. And I mean, because it looks so dope, I would say that they just let it pass. You know what I'm saying? But if it didn't look dope, they would. Yeah. I feel like if you just like, I don't know. Because like, I want to be able to see this. I want <laughs> So like, let's just say, because there's a guy, I forgot his name, dude, but he, I'm, I forgot his name, but I'll put his tag like right here or something. So that way I can like go back right. and look for it. But um. I I saw this guy on TikTok and he he's fucking funny, dude. He has like his like he just tells stories all the time and it's very funny. Mm-hmm. But he got banned and they even snitched on him on in his apartment because he was smoking in his apartment, I guess. And one of his like neighbors or something saw the TikTok and ratted him out. Bitch. Right? Bitch. What a bitch! That's 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 hurt. That that hurts to hear. So, so he he made a TikTok saying like, "Bro, for real." And like every time he smokes, he has to do it like with the green screen, so that way you don't know where he's at. He's like, just in case you guys think I'm in my apartment. That 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 blows, and it sucks that it's like, I don't know, I don't know. I've never been in like a apartment, so I don't know like how it affects. You know, what I'm saying like, smoke a smoke. If he goes, yeah. yeah. My neighbors don't chip. Don't trip on me. I think like out of my dude. Did my neighbors trip on me for smoking weed in my own house? That's Get the I, fuck back I, in your house. You gotta you, you gotta mind your business for real. You definitely gotta mind your business, especially if it's other than the smell. If like I'm not uh, close your window, go inside. Facts. I don't I don't know what to tell you. Because <laughs> this slow pack is gonna stink. <laughs> this slow pack is gonna hey, stink. Not gonna lie, ours does not stink. It smells pretty good. To a, do you think do you think our smells bad? No, no, right? Not to a. I mean, because there's cheat. some there's some stinky I, yeah, it's weed. Like me before I, I started smoking weed, bro. I hated the smell of it. Me too. You can ask everybody. Like, um, this one dude, he was like, he was like, he smelled this, and I was like, what the fuck? And then he was just looking at me. He was like, are you okay? And I was like, are you like <laughs> this? Shit smells like shit. Uh, yeah. Like, what's that word? Caca. Caca. Yeah. Mielda. Like, Smell like booty. <laughs> but, but what's, a, what's now a, I started chiefing the booty. But I don't do it too much. What? <laughs> no, but ours ours smells like more more florical. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's uh, and that's funny because like I think sativa produces more of the the smelly. It's a smelly good one. Really, I didn't yeah, know that. It's like more of the citrus smell. Uh huh. And then indica. That's the one that smells just like in your nose, just obnoxious. You know? Really. Because mine is indica. Mm-hmm. And it smells like flowers. It smells beautiful. You could just put, get a jar and just... When you open it, it smells like a good time. It smells like so a great I'm, time. So if it, it does smell like anything else, I'm, we're nose blind. Right? Yeah. And I've had people smell that like they don't even smell. I'm like, bro, just smell it. Nah, no, just smell it. It smells really good. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, you're right. That does <laughs> smell good. And I'm like, see, I told you. It doesn't stink. And they're like, yeah, I see it. They usually think it smells pretty good. I mean, yeah. You know what I've been craving? What? Something pineapple-ish. Something with pineapple, like a like a pina colada or something. Like, like Ooh, a pina colada right now would be fucking good. Are you saying like, are we still talking about strains? No, or no, are you no, just no, talking no, no, about no. like just like, in general. Okay. Yeah. Just in general. A pina colada right now would be good. Nice and like blended. If you like pina coladas. You know what that song's about? Mm. It is about having sex in the rain. Yeah, but it's more about adultery. So like, there's this uh couple, you know, what I'm saying this husband and wife. Uh huh. 
you know, and they go on this cruise. They're like, or not cruise, they go on a vacation. And on the vacation, uh, they they get tired of each other. So they each go on their separate vacation. You know what I'm saying? And Where are you getting this from? What? The music video? Uh, No, it's about what the actual song is. Where did you hear that? I read it somewhere. Okay. Okay. But we can, we can definitely, we can definitely, um... Fact, fact check, check it, yeah. but it's about them. I, I, damn, now you got me. No, thinking. you can start over. It's okay. No, 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 no. But it's it's like it's like I don't want to say nothing wrong. No, you're good. You're good. It's about them. Um, it's about them fucking in yeah. the rain. No, not fucking <laughs> in the rain, bro. <laughs> it's about them um cheating on each other. Mm. Yeah, so they cheat on each other, and then they end up. They find out that they're on the same vacation. That they're on the same vacation, uh-huh. so they go on a they go on a vacation, uh huh, together. Not together. They oh, go on like separate vacation. So one person's with another person, one person's with another person, but they go on vacation and then they, yeah, fuck in the rain. You know what? I think that's how it goes. Now on my head's all combobulated. I'm gonna fact check it right now. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I just know that they played it in grown. Well, welcome back to the Kickback Podcast. My name is Joan. And I'm okay. Kid. Today we have no topic like usual. We're just chilling. Just Kicking chilling, back man. and relaxing. Pina coladas, though. And bro. getting high in the rain. What the? What is. Bro, oh, I remember when I went to Arizona uh, to visit my cousins. It started raining, but the air was warm, like nice and warm. And then it started getting humid, but like a good kind of humid. You know what I mean? Like it was a nice refreshing type of humid. I hate humidity. Like There's it was no hot, way. but it was raining. And then we went swimming. So you're in a nice cold water. You come up to nice warm air. I don't know. It just, I, I think about it and it just gives me that feeling. The same feeling that I was there, you know, I could smell the air. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not siding with you on that. Well, how, how did, how did it feel though? Like nice, felt nice, felt nice. Humidity has never tra- treated me well. One because oh, and I Niger- sweat a lot. In Nigeria, yeah, Nigeria and Florida and Baltimore, yeah. Oh, it's it's humid in Baltimore. Oh my god, it's humid in Baltimore. It's in summer, yeah, it's very humid. It gets yeah. humid here sometimes. Humid Sorry. does it? Here? It, it's very like dry heat, you know. I don't, I, yeah, that's I don't, why I said sometimes. Yeah, I don't feel not too often. It, yeah, though. it's not too often to where I can remember it being humid. But dude, it's crazy. I was thinking about it, like uh, how I said that I will, I can smell the air mm-hmm. from Arizona. Just think of the smell of like a nice rainy day, like this fresh breeze after the dirt. This is one of my dad's stories. He mm-hmm. says that that in Mexico, that it would rain and the next day. He would go outside and the dirt would smell so good. He's like, mijo, I swear there was times where I was just like, I need to eat the fucking dirt. It smells that good. It smells nice and fresh. Speaking of eating dirt, I remember I ate some grass in fucking middle school. I don't think I've ever tasted grass. You never ate some grass? Mm-mm. Let's wrestle and I'll make you eat some grass. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, no, I remember I ate some fucking grass, though. And I was like, I don't know, what the fuck? What was the weirdest thing you ate as a kid? Like, there were some kids that ate roly polies. Ass. <laughs> he said, oh, those are mid. <laughs> roly polies, mid. No, nah, I actually ate ass as a kid. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I meant, like, outside, dog. Yeah, I went outside to eat some ass. Like, what, seven years old? You didn't do that? No, I wasn't eating ass at seven years old. Well, shit. I, I'm 20 years old and I'm still not eating ass. I'm not eating ass right now. I think that's something that you should definitely try. It's not that I'm opposed to the idea. It's just I haven't got around to it's it. It's there. Just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> just, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, not even, it's not even like a... It's like first instance, you know? You just not, don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Just, that's your tongue and just... Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the weirdest thing I used to eat as a kid was ants. Ants? Yeah, bro. I'd see them on They'd a, bite on a you, fucking you bite line. them back? Yeah, bro. I did that shit. I was like, what the fuck? Who do you think you are? <laughs> be dead in my mouth. Bro. Oh, wait. Yeah, they'll be dead in my mouth. Fuck ant, man. 
dude, fuck him, yeah, bro. Ants. I used to have a personal vendetta with. Them. I remember like I went on like a like a like a what was it, like a three four months hiatus of just not eating ants, and then I like you went in a cleanse. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. And I seen the ant there, and I was like, this is a problem. I wonder what you taste like again, so I could. Got like it was never like I was just like scooping up ants from fucking dirt hills. You get them in a jar, you put them on a freaking firing pan, some barbecue seasoning, low key. Nah, that's some protein right there, man. That's some good protein. Fucking people out out here freaking eating um what raw liver and shit. Oh yeah, Logan Paul, he just did that on his podcast. Are we gonna do that on ours? Fuck no. If you want, I ain't. I ain't doing that shit, bro. I was looking at it. That is disgusting. I don't think I can do that. Hell no, nah, bro. Raw meat. But he said that there's a lot of... Of course he's going to say there's a lot of health right? benefits. Look like he him. said, he's like, he's like, it's, scientists have shown that like, they just say you have something wrong with your heart. If you eat the heart of another animal, all those minerals, everything from that goes directly to your heart, making it better. I think I have a bruise right here because I, I touch it a little bit and it hurts. Or like a cut. Better get that shit checked out. This one looks fucking ugly. That shit look gnarly. It looks like I don't know if you guys can see you're it. You're a victim. But here, I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in on this one. So you guys can actually see it. I don't know if you guys can actually see this. But it looks like like someone pinned you down. I woke up and the whole bruise was here. I don't know why. I was gonna put on my headphones, but I don't even have headphones headphones today. Oh, I didn't think I needed them, you know? Dude, you think what if you woke up in a uh-huh. dream, right? And on some nightmare on Elm Street, like the dream was real. The the dream was real, and you got those freaking like scars or whatever. The scratches. Yeah, and you. I've gotten those before. While you're sleeping. Mm-hmm. Oh, I woke shit. up with some scratches. My mom has two. Scary shit. Paranormal she's, activity. She's like, I was like, yeah, mom. It was like three little scratches right here. She's like, what happened? I was like, I don't know, but they're here. She's like. Freddy Cougar got you. <laughs> she would tell me that, dude, me in elementary school. <laughs> Freddy Cougar, who's that? Okay. Say Freddy Cougar, mm-hmm. Jason, Hellraiser, and who's another um, scary person? Chucky. I say Chucky. Okay. Who would win? No, no, no. Not who would win. Choose one, the rest, of, choose one to be on your side, the rest have to kill you. I'm choosing my boy Jason. Jason? Jason I think Voorhees, okay. Or, no, actually. I already, that's a good one. Because Jason is just like a whole bunch of strength. That fucker yeah. is strong. You can't strong beat him. Shit. So if he just, if it's just. Th- Ooh, I should, all right, replace, replace Chucky for Michael Myers. Chucky's a bitch. Fuck him. Yeah, replace Chucky for Michael Myers. Oh, Jason's taking out Michael Myers like nothing. Really? Hell is yeah. He- yeah. Uh, I seen that motherfucker, uh, Michael, just step on a bitch head and that shit splatters. Yeah, but Jason, Jason's like a deformed human with like super strong powers. He's a monster. He's a beast. What the fuck is uh, Mike? I don't know. Just I haven't seen the movies to be honest with you, but I think it's just mm. a guy. I think. The guy just never dies. This is a super strong guy. But the other guy, has a, but Jason has like a deformality that's like makes him big. That's why they left him there. In the, in the Oh, speaking of Jason, tomorrow, Friday the 13th. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh shit. It's Friday the 13th. We're going camping. Get the fuck out of here. I ain't going nowhere on the 13th. You're not down? No. We should, we should find a way to take the podcast to like the devil's basement or something. Just have two chairs, have the microphone stands. We can. How mm. how would the like is is has it been pretty windy? Lately? Yeah, and it's okay. It's been okay. I mean, cause every cause I have uh Black blinds or whatever. Yeah, so I have black blinds. And every time I open my window, that shit just gets sucked out. Same with that one. Yeah. So it's just like every like if you pass by my house, you know what I'm saying? I have the window open. It literally looks fucking haunted because I just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> just Dr. Strange shit. The case, the case <laughs> yeah. just like that. Thanks. I don't think the wind should be a problem either. We can get mm-hmm. put like a wind filter or something on it. Okay. But... um, Wind filter in post or like wind filter yeah, like a... Yeah, in okay. post. Oh, in también? We could put like a box around it. Uh, Ooh, that'd be smart. Put in like a box around it so like it covers it all the way. You just have like, right. like this, you know? That'd be pretty cool. But the only thing I'm thinking about is the sound mixer. Like how would we do that? We need like some kind of generator. Huh. We need That would be loud. We need Thomas Edison. We'll Thomas survive. Edison. We'll revive him on the 13th. We just need a battery or something to like plug that into or something. 
but something quiet. I seen people charge their freaking their phones through a watermelon. I seen that too. Let's bring it. Bring a watermelon. Is that real? That's not real. We gotta do some fact and factor cap like that's, episodes or something. I shit. think that's definitely cap. How dude, we should try, probably do that shit on the podcast sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Just like, try a whole bunch of myths. Yeah. Mythbusters. Turn that shit into a kickback style. Kickback myths. Kickback busters. Kickbuster. Kick Batowski. Kick Batowski. Who the fuck are these dudes hitting me up, bro? But hey. What you want some dick? Huh? That's what you guys tell him. Oh. <laughs> like, what you want? Thought you was talking about something. Never mind. Never mind. But uh, you heard about the fucking YSL, bro? YSL. Oh, no. Young Stoner Life, bro. Let me educate you. Young more. Stoner Life? Yeah, that's them. That's such a dope name. What right? the hell? Young Stoner Life. Mm-hmm. And we're just we're just out here living that young stoner life, you know? Nah, but they got a they got a Atlanta accent, so it's like it's more like a, I'm not even gonna attempt it because I don't know it. But I I'm not gonna it. attempt it either. But it's like I don't, you know, young. Th- how does fucking young thug talk? He be talking like out in Atlanta. I don't even wanna wanna do it, but I don't know how it is as. Young Stoner Life, bro. Uh huh. What had happened with them, bro? I guess like, and I really hate that how this shit happens, cause um, they have been getting watched by like the feds for over ten years, and I guess they got them on like racketeering charges as well as uh going out to out people, meaning it's like going out to like merc someone, you know what I'm saying? And they have them on all these charges. And with Rico charges, rather than just going for like the one person, you know what I'm saying? They go for the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like, not that it's dumb. Mm-hmm. Because, you know what I'm saying? They probably was out doing some shit. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like there's so much other shit. And they they, they literally said they, they went after them because like they're popular type stuff. Just to make an example, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And it's like all the rappers, you know what I'm saying? And they use, I don't, I feel like you shouldn't be able to to get people to indict people through their lyrics. Hmm. Because these fuckers are just, are, they're, they're just, they're listening to them. Right. You know, they're like, oh, let's do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're just like, you're not even appreciating the music. You're just like, all right, let me lock this motherfucker up. Have you what seen, you the, have you seen the whole Bobby Smurda, uh, RDC rap? World? No, he's, he's rapping on a, on a, uh, Radio show, mm-hmm. right? He's a freestyling, but he said, "I just killed, I just shot somebody last week, or something like that." And then they just cut it in. They're like, "We gotta." <laughs> <laughs> so they're just out here listening bro, to bro. everything they're saying. Yeah, I think RDC World did a fucking skit on that shit too, dude. Once again, bro, I love RDC C World's grind, bro. Every time they have an idea, bro, they just yep, bam, right they're on. They're just it, fast bro. with it. They but, have a whole group of people, and they're just like. Determined on it on all like one grind type shit, you know what I'm saying? You know Kenny Beats? Whoa, Kenny! <sighs> I heard the name, bro. Play something, and I'll be able to. But I heard the name. And Whoa, Kenny! It. That that ad lib, you know yeah. that can't. I'm about to search it up. You're gonna be like, oh. What about him? Um, he has a show, right? He mm-hmm. calls it the, the cave, the okay. cave, right? And he just. Um, he just does a freestyle, so like he's just messing around, hanging out with the artist, basically how we're doing it. But it's like I'm working on a, I'm producing a beat, and you're just there making the the words for you. Like I'm about to freestyle for this, this and that, just kicking it with me. And then he goes into the the rapper goes into the studio to the booth, and he just starts freaking. Bro, when we have when we have artists, I feel like we're like if we were to have like artist guests, that would be cool to have like like them have like a either a freestyle segment, you know what I'm saying, or like a like a little, you know what I'm saying? Something to showcase their artistry in terms of vocal range. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just play like a play like a, like a beat one of our homies make. They'd be like, all right, rap on this. See if you can freestyle to this. And there has to be some good shit. I don't know. You know, freestyling is a pretty hard thing. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I can't do it. I I, I, do I it. be in the car trying my hardest and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> shit. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Yuck, shit. Dude. Yeah. The easiest way to freestyle, and it this is like you say like you have like that's why I always ask you guys, like, like if I'm about to do something, I'll be like, all right, say a word. You know what I'm saying? 
And then after that word, just think of like five other words. And then after that, just like flow. So say it's like flow. Then slow. Then go. Then some more. Ho. Some mo. Yeah, ho and mo. You know what I'm saying? On the floor. Gotta go. No, I'm not gonna fucking freestyle. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking freestyle. Bro, kid COVID is dead. I'm telling you. He's dead. Has he is he's a producer, you said? He's a producer. Whose songs has he produced? <laughs> this one. This one they met it on the show. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm a true that song. God, yeah. I am playing by He's a white dude, right? Yeah, I'm on my job. Yeah, yeah. no Kenny Beats. He made that song in the in during a show and it became super popular. I remember that one. They even had a genius on that show. Yeah. He was like, This song has been ruining my life slowly and slowly as a professional music career, you know? And he's like, Yeah. <laughs> Zach Fox just enjoying the ride. Hell yeah. Dude. I feel like Actually, I don't feel like anything on that. I, I don't have anything to say on that. It was cool. It was cool. Uh, as a, like a serious song, no, I get it. Mm-hmm. You know, it was just a f- for fun. But it was cool. It was funny. That's honestly how I feel with like like my videos. Like it's like some of my music videos, I really don't want to do like too many running guns anymore. Me know? neither. Like, I don't. But you know what I'm saying? Just to get that extra buck, it's like, all right, I'll do the running It's thing. super easy, you know? Yeah. You just put them all together. So- <sighs> If I'm going to do a running gun, I really want to make it look Better. like a nice running gun. Yeah. Like what we did for Jordan. Yeah, that's kind of running gun, but it's mixture into something else. Yeah, that was that was yeah, that was real running gun type shape. But right? We had we had the the script, we had the the lights and everything and it played into like something. It it, it was like a advanced running gun I should call it, it. it was it was the next level to mm-hmm. a running gun. It wasn't just no camera person just following him around with it just, you know? Yeah, I really don't like the running guns anymore. Like, it was cool at first. And it'll be cool to come back to it. But, I mean, not come back to it. I'm still in it. So, yeah. Until then, we're going to have to... I'm going to have to keep doing fucking running guns. It's like this. It's like, I want to make actual, like, productions. But, no one, one, almost nobody's willing to pay nowadays. Everyone's just like, uh... Mm-hmm. I was thinking, like, $200 for a whole fucking music video. You're tripping. Yeah, that's why... Go use your DS. <laughs> yeah, Bro, literally, if it comes to that, bro, just to get that, that, um, I'm going out there with my iPhone recording you, and I'm going home. Literally, I'm just airdropping that shit. I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing. If I if it's like that, bro, three shots in a tripod, and we'll see what we do from there. Exactly. No, for two hundred dollars, I you you come pick me up from my house. I'll take my iPhone and I'll record you. Thanks, <laughs> I don't care. So I'm using a tripod and. We're going to get up out of there. Unless, not even exposure. I don't like the fucking pain and exposure. No, bro. Stop being My pockets see. hurt. <laughs> There's no such thing. My, my, my pockets is exposed as being like empty. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck is exposure? You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's like, uh, I don't know. Unless you can give me something else valuable type shit. Like, uh-huh. Say you're going to teach me something that I've never really done it. I'm a young, I'm a young cat. When like it today, when we went to jujitsu and I offered them, you know, I'll, yeah, I'll give you these photos for free. Just let me train. You're right. That's a cool payment for me. There's this one dude um, that he was like, "Oh, we can work something out. Like, I'll give you boxing lessons and you come shoot for me, type shit." Because he liked what I was doing, you know. And um, oh, well, I don't know what happened. I think I went to Nigeria. Mm. Yeah, and it just went out the window. So I was like, "Fuck." We ever contact them again? Yeah. No? No. Yeah. No. Boxing would be cool. I don't really want to fucking... I'm not really a fighter, bro. Yeah, I'm but fighting, I like... But it's like... I like... It's not that I'm a fighter. because I really don't like to fight people. I just want to have that confidence in myself. Like, yeah, I can do this and that. I have that confidence. It's just like... Because I know if I if I use too much of that confidence, I, like, I'm, I'm really going to get invested. Mm-hmm. And you're going to see me in that, in that, in that, in that octagon one time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I really don't want to be like... Most I'll do is street beefs. Mm. For me, I wanted to get to the point where I'm like, I can't get in that octagon, you know? Mm-hmm. Not that I want to. I'm not fucking trying to be like a full-on fighter, brawler. No. Right. I just... Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I'm fucking down. I'm hella... Like, I'm like, if... I like Me, I'll, I'll, I'll never duck something like... Like, if it's just like a friendly exhibition, you know what I'm saying? Then no. I was like... 
I yeah no even with that I do duck it sometimes. No worries. There's it's a very very slight chance that I'll say yeah I'm down. It's like if someone offers me to like hey let's wrestle oh let's box. So uh, no I don't want to I'm okay thanks. No bro it's like say because sometimes too these fuckers don't know how to spar. Dude, be out here trying to hurt me. I'm like, bitch. That is exactly why I stopped fucking smarting with my boy. Maybe I was being a bitch, but also like, like fucking dude, bro, we're practicing. Bro, give me a fucking concussion, bro. And I'm like, oh my gosh, hell no, nah, bro. I'm, I'm done with this. Like for that, fuck the boxing. I'm taking your ass to the floor. That's what and I'm now saying, I'm kicking bro. your ass. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, bro. And that's what happens. One of us gets hurt, and we're like, bitch, what? The, what was that? And then starts actual beef. I don't know. There's like. I see a lot of people uh, complaining about sparring etiquette, and then I see a lot of people complaining about, like, oh, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Just like, we spar, we spar, but I don't know. I no, f- because we're learning. We're not out here to kill each other, dude. Mm-hmm. I if like you want to go kill each other, you're in the UFC. That's like, where you fucking- I like Thailand, because uh, how, how they Toughest do, fighters out there. Yeah, with they're the- tough as shit, bro, but they literally just, like, tap you, and they're just like- just like learning as you go, and then there's some times where they're just going in fucking spar wars and shit. Yeah, they're ready to freaking break each other's legs off. Right. But I don't know if I could do that. For what? I like my legs. I don't want to break it. I'd oh. rather just learn it, practice it, and have and a nice good day. Legs. And save my legs. <laughs> I need to do more. I need to do more leg workouts. Me too. My legs be skinny. I feel too fat. I want it, I want that shit to like like rip. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you want to see like like every single like muscle joint thingy? Yeah, bro. That's when I I remember when I I uh when I was working out a little more vigorously, bro. Like I used to shave my legs so then you could see like every like fiber even more. No, nah, I need my hair on my legs because it 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 makes them look uh, somewhat bigger because like you know the hair puffs up a little bit. Oh, no, really? Yeah. So if like if I shave it, it's gonna look even skinnier than it already is. Mm. Don't want to do that. That's actually what I was going for. Like I wanted my legs to look skinny, but it still had that. Yeah, but there's a difference between skinny and tiny, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, bro! Freaking. <sighs> Speaking of shaving hair, bro, you ever use Nair? Uh, I haven't. Mm. My mom had some, and I think she had used it or something. But I remember I was there and I went to the restroom and it smelled nasty. Like it smells Nair bad. smells it's like, like it's like nasty. Burning follicles, bro. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why, but I was like, mom, what did you do? <laughs> what did you do? She's like, nothing, mom. The restroom smells nasty. And she's like, oh, yeah, I used the, I was In like, there. open the window. <laughs> <laughs> it smells. It smells. Bro. Fuck, should I say this? Uh, I'm gonna say it. All right, bro. Almost burned my dick off, bro. Because you're supposed to fucking have that shit on for. Um, oh, you used it? No. Yeah, I wouldn't bro. trust that. Yeah, bro. That's- I needed that shit looking silky Manscaped. smooth. Manscaped works a couple of times. Really? After, after it's just like, I don't know, still some stubble. But fucking. Um, but I never want my stuff bald bald So I'm okay I want my shit bald like Caillou bro I don't care bro I like that Like shit. Caillou? Like Caillou You want bro. that shit to have a reflection? Yes bro I want to see myself I like that <laughs> shit <laughs> I like that shit bro You said black mirror <laughs> You feel me like what bro? I, mean, I want to be like <sighs> Nah Fucking Man- shine right back at Kickback me Kickback gets sponsored by Manscaped one day Fuck it Dude You know I still haven't fucking made that The commercial? That commercial bro Cause my Manscaped has never cut me Or Clip me, me like that. It's actually pretty pretty nice. There's a there's one shot that I needed left, and mm-hmm. it was of uh, a hot dog falling off <laughs> and hitting the floor. Wait, but you were saying how did you almost bring your dick off? Why you want to know so bad? No, I'm playing. <laughs> you didn't finish your story. <laughs> All right. So what had happened? So you're supposed to keep it on what 10, 15 minutes? I think I went like 30 seconds too long. And then, like, I'm, I'm scrubbing it off type of shit. And then I put the rubbing alcohol on right after. And I was like... Why would you do that? I like pain. Fuck. All I feel is pain. Pain, pain, pain. <laughs> and I fucking felt the pain. And I was like, oh, shit. And this I is too to, much pain. I, I don't like this no I more. <laughs> like this, bro. I was like, oh, shit. Dude, no. It took me, like, three days walking around like a weirdo. Would you ever do it again? Would I... How do you say strong in Spanish? Can you serve me a cup? Can you serve me a cup of that with mango? Yeah. 
The mango Arizona thingy? Where it's from. Arizona again, mango thingy. Thank you. Abrazame lo fuerte. Abrazame fuerte. So, hug me, like, strong, strong. tightly. Yeah, nice, strong. Abrazame muy fuerte. Hug me very strong. Muy. Muy. Mucho. Okay. See, Duolingo, one boy, Joan type shit. I'm telling you, bro. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try my best for you to like learn Spanish as you're here. Yeah. Um, I forgot who we were talking about. Oh yeah, Monica's we're, friend. We're talking Freddy. about freaking. Um, he. We told bowls. him too because he doesn't speak Spanish at all. Uh huh. And I was like, bro, just whenever we're here and we're talking to you in Spanish, try to listen. Pick it up. Even if you don't like know what we're saying, right. try to. Okay. Okay. This word. This word. This word. This means that. You know? Yeah. But you were saying, we were would you ever about, do it again? We are talking about burning balls off. Would I do it again? Yeah. But with the... Uh, but why the rubbing alcohol? Like, what is it? Well, you're supposed to do that? Um, I use rubbing alcohol just so I don't, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, like... Oh, like, like, like aftershave kind of yeah. like? Oh, but with Nair... Fucking, there's open pores, dude. I just used it just in case, dude. <laughs> oh, no, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. There's, like, like... I feel like if you run away from the pain too much, bro, it's like it's just like I I, I have Yeah, a, but I'm not running away. I would just avoid it. True. I have a I have a I have a high pain tolerance now. Like I can rip crazy hairs out my head. Cigarette just <laughs> like in breaking not bad. That, but you know what I'm saying? I remember oh, you're fucking putting lemon in his eyes and shit. Ah, oh, it feels so good. Yeah. How much would they pay you to do that? To do what? Put lemon in your eyes. Lemon in my eyes? I don't think I could do it. Lemon. Lemon, dude, and acid. Speaking of lemon in the eyes, my mm. boy Seth, bro. No way. <laughs> so he just got contacts, right? So he has these contacts. He looks in his he looks in his uh his um he looks in his what was it? Drawer or something, his cabinet drawer or something. Uh huh. And instead of the fucking eye drops, he gets freaking ear drops. Dude, I did <laughs> my mom. Oh my god, you're oh, that's crazy. I know exactly how this is gonna go. I did that to my mom as a kid. <laughs> oh my god, bro. That he exact got the thing. Ear drops, yeah. bro. <laughs> he puts them in there. That He's shit. like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Screaming. He's like, oh! He's like, <laughs> he's like, eardrops in my eye. Oh! Dude, no. Oh Dude, God. and I know that fucking burns because my mom was, my mom was pissed. Dude, when I gave it to, John, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> she was pissed as hell. And I was like, why? What happened? You gave me the wrong drops. You gave me eardrops instead of eye drops. But they, it's not, dude. They look exactly. Yeah, the they same. look exactly. They're the like same, bro. the same shape, the same lid. Everything about it is the exact same thing. Same just, color, like what? One says eye drops and one says ear drops. Same fucking lettering, like three letters, too close, <sighs> too close of things. I would have put them in separate places. I'm not even gonna lie, not in the same place. Facts. That's like mixing your freaking baby powder with cocaine. It's like, why would you put them right next to each other? So you're snorting baby powder and putting cocaine in your ass? <laughs> I, I used to do that. Snort baby powder. Like, Why? Because I was acting as if I was like, so are you okay? So I'll be around my friends, right? And I'll be like, oh. <laughs> full on Amber Heard <laughs> shit, bro. Amber. <laughs> oh, did you see that? She's fucking insane. Dude, dude. She's doing crack in court. Dude, little bumps. You whatever. saw that shit, right? I've seen that shit. And dude, I've seen like, I'm like, whoa. I was like, nah, that's, that's just, they're just a coincidence. Just, they're just trying to do something with her. No. She's bro, what? Cocaine, dude. Here. But it's vodka. She put three pieces of little mango in there for the presentation. No. Okay. It's more juice. Yeah, more juice. No, I'm good. It tastes more like juice. Nah, she bought it. She bought his shit though, because she already saw that she was fucking losing. She was like, you know what? Might as well just snort some coke. Dude, this kid in middle school, they would get he would snore everything. I don't know why. He would just wanna do it. Taki Taki powder. Oh. Fucking sour patch kids, the sour sugar stuff. He would Sweeties? just Sweeties? Sweet Smarties just 
full lines. That shit, Bro, would, that what? shit burns, dude. I don't think I've done anything that goes up my nose like that. I started like a like the little spray because I had like a sinus infection or some shit. Mm-hmm. They just. I think literally only yeah only only baby powder and that shit never. It was funny until I got in trouble with it. Actually, it was still funny after I got in trouble. Freaking, it was pretty stupid to get in trouble like that though. But I did it in class, dude. I was like, and then I was like, and I, literally, I, I look up, and my teacher, she's like, no she's way. At me, she's like, <laughs> fucking Why did you dumbfounded. Have baby powder, though? Uh, that was another thing. Um, we were talking about uh puberty and shit. Like, I never had an acne. Um, um. Like a problem, uh-huh. but I really liked having my my face smooth. You know what I'm saying? So I already had a, a, a smooth face, but then I'd put um, baby powder around just it, just a little coat of it, and just... yeah, and just be like, and then I'd have people like, you know, what I'm saying, I'll be all feel this. They're like, oh shit, what the fuck is like a baby's? Whoa, butt. it's like a baby's butt. Yeah, it's exactly what they'll say, and I'd be like, yep, smooth ass cheeks, bitch. <laughs> yeah, just walk, it. bro. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Covered in baby powder. Fucking look like full on Michael Jackson. What you did, like, what are you doing? It's like, back up. Speck up, that's ignorant. That's ignorant. That's Stop ignorant. That. Stop that. Stop that. That's ignorant. Don't say that. That's ignorant. You can't say that. Hey, Chris, what are you doing? Stop putting baby powder on your face. <laughs> he it's was like, he's like, Chris, okay, he's, I love that joke. He was just saying that he went to Michael Jackson's house and then he looks outside that fucking. Michael, was that two giraffes walking in the your backyard? It was three. It was three. <laughs> it was three. He's like, that was smooth as shit. He's like, I know. That's why I bought them. I know. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> fucking miss. Bro, there's so many of these fucking artists that I just miss, bro, that I just, I know, like, I need them, bro. Like, I fucking. Need a, for real, I need to meet people, bro. So many stories to tell. Man, there's. To who, listen to. Who do I, who do I want? I miss, I miss Mike. I miss, I miss X. X. I miss Tupac. I miss Pop Smoke. Who else do I fucking miss, man? I always I miss George Michael. I miss I miss them all, bro. Like fuck. Kumbaya. Who's Kumbaya? Mm-hmm. What's Kumbaya mean? I don't know. This nigga just said fucking Kumbaya. Don't they, they, don't they do that around a campfire? Kumbaya, my oh, lord. Kumbaya. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh! I heard um Daniel Cormier say that he wanted to uh, oh he also got in the ha- Hall of Fame. Congratulations, yeah. Daniel Cormier. DC, I fucking love you. Him and him and Khabib need a show together. They made a show together? They need a show together. They need a show together. Them on the wrestling mat is hilarious, Dude, bro. I just sent my homeboy some of that shit, bro. Yeah, I love watching that. I, I been wa- binge watched a lot of it the other day. Mm-hmm. It was just them two, and they're just always arguing, but it's like a competitive, like yeah, like a friendly banter. I'm gonna fuck you up. No, I'm gonna fuck you up. Friendly banter for sure. There's um literally uh. Dude, I love Kobe, bro. And DC, he was like, he was like, don't touch me. And he was like, he was like, what are you gonna do if I don't? He said, he's like, he's like, oh, you're gonna kill me? He's like, okay, let's go now. Let's <laughs> like, go now. I kill you now, dude. DC is like fucking like two forty, you know, something what I'm like that. Kobe was like one fifty five, dude. Yeah, he's a Walter testing weight. out a bear and shit. Walter, Yo, bro, you keep getting that shit wrong. He's a lightweight. Walter's <sighs> one seventy. You're right. I keep thinking one fifty five is Walter weight. And I know I'm wrong, but I just keep saying it. Walter weight is 170. Flyweight is below that. Lightweight is yeah, the 155. Flyweight's like 145, one, no? Flyweight's 125. Really? Yeah, bro. Are you sure? Flyweight's small as shit. You know what? Wait, what's is it, it called? Flyweight or bantamweight? Flyweight. F- no, McGregor. Flyweight's 115. McGregor was a flyweight. Was he? He was flyweight and lightweight. Okay, wait. Flyweight, featherweight, lightweight, welter. Oh no, he's a featherweight. Yeah. He was a featherweight and a lightweight. Not flyweight. Strawweight? For a second. Strawweight's like, I don't know. Tiny. They're like 100 pounds. There's a there's an actual. 100 pound grown men. Think of that shit. There, five, there's this one guy. He's like a little baby Hulk, basically. He's just short, straw weight, but that fucker could fight. He got knocked out, though. Who was he? Uh, I forgot his name, man. But he's not—he's under the UFC because you know they don't have a strawweight division yeah. for men. But yeah, he fights strawweight division. He fights against other like actual fighters in that same division. Strawweights—they're both short, but big. Mm-hmm. They got his ass. I forgot it. it was just like a—you know—he was doing good, but the guy just 
straight to the floor. But yeah, I'll, I'll keep it switched up. You're going to see it right now. Since we're on the topic of fucking MMA, bro, did you ever see uh, Demetrius Johnson versus uh, Rod Tank? Who? Demetrius Johnson in Rod Tank. Do you know who uh, Demetrius is? I think I know who Demetrius is, but yeah. I don't know who. Rod Tank, he's from uh, one championship. Yeah, he, uh, he fights in, in that that uh, place. And um, he's like one of the world's best Muay Thai fighters, bro. So, like, he has like, I don't know. I don't know how, like, he has like over like 200 fights or something. He's been fighting since he was like 13 years old, dude. Like, this since dude's he was 13. A, yes, bro. He's a competitor, bro. A fucking warrior. And he fought Demetrius, bro. And the way it was set up, it was. First round MMA, second round Muay Thai. No, first round Muay Thai, second round MMA, and then they'll switch off. It was four rounds, right? And second, like, first round, you know what I'm saying? He definitely won in the Muay Thai. But then second round, he definitely just, like, Demetrius came in, just ended it all. Gustavo Ballart, that's his name. Gustavo Ballart? Gustavo Ballart. He's, like, five foot two, maybe five. Maybe shorter. Look at these fuckers, dude. They're Straw- not even, bro. They're not even a, above the freaking rope. No, they're not. Straw weights and they're small. Oh, they're hell short. Nah. But they will fuck you up. Look at them. What the fuck? They're big and they're strong. Later on, bro, we're gonna have like a TV over there. I promise you. TV right over there so you can watch it right there on that one. All right here. Nah, because we're gonna turn our heads, but we're just right there. Mm, just look right there. But I'll I'll skip to the end so you can see how it happens. Dude, they're literally like, and they will fucking overhead me. Look at this shit. Ready? Look at this. Little pit bulls. Boom. God damn. Huh? Bro, that kick was bad. And just straight to the floor. Oh shit! Wait, will the USC ever have a strawweight men's division, dude? If they if they do, they better fucking put Azbula in that bitch. Azbula? <laughs> better. I need to see that boy squabble, man. He's he's not a fighter anymore. He's a he's a man religious. Uh, he he gave his whole life up to religion. Oh okay. UFC strawweight men's. I mean, Yoel Romero is a soldier of God, so. Don't count him out yet. Yeah, no, there is. Is there? Uh, yeah, it's only women. Men do not fight in the strawweight division. Yeah. Speaking of strawweight and women, Rose, Carla. I didn't watch it. You're lucky you didn't, bro. I didn't watch it. I have a bone to pick with the two of you. Don't kick my ass, please. But by now, you probably should have watched the fight. Dude. Boring as fuck. Nah, actually, Rose, if you can put me in a triangle hold, <laughs> I would love that. I would just gonna let that go. Just gonna. You wanted a fucking triangle, right? I'll die in it. <laughs> <laughs> You're so dumb. Blissful. I'm telling you, man. Thug That's Rose. So let me see why they call you Rose, huh? Thug Rose. No, but. That that was the most boring fight I've ever seen, and everyone else has said the same thing. Me and my dad were just, my dad was on his phone on Facebook. <laughs> and I was just there, like, oh. I, but she said something. She said something where uh, she she was like, um, all these wars that I've had, you really like, I can't no, be rewarded for having a strategic fight. It wasn't a strategic fight. It was just two fighters, fighters, not fighting. The ref didn't say anything. Mm. The ref should have said. You guys need a fight. You guys need a fight. He said he kept saying that. They didn't say shit. Damn. All five rounds of doing nothing, bro. I really want to watch that shit, bro. Go watch it right now, cause I'm telling you, nothing. Cause I've seen like the style of uh, Israel Adesanya. He's more. He's more of a that's chess a chess piece. match. Yeah, that's a chess match, and I get There's it. No that's fucking... strategic approach. That's a strategic. You're exchanging hits. You're avoiding hits. You're hitting, coming back. You're hitting, right to one on one. What is this doing for five fucking rounds? 25 minutes of just this. Rose, come on. Carla, come on. And Carla was just like this. 
Ronda Rousey did not put her whole coochie in this fucking... What's the fucking thing? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. A fight, whatever. She's a pioneer of the fucking fight game, women's fight game. She did not fucking lay down the tracks for y'all to be training like that. Amanda Nunez is a warrior. Juliana Pena, warrior. We've seen that. That's a fucking fight. But come on. You guys both did. Carla won a freaking belt for free. By doing nothing. By doing a takedown. Mm. That's the only thing that happened, honestly. She got a takedown. That's it. I can't even put my own opinion on this. Freaking. But from what you're saying, like I'm, I'm glad I didn't watch it. You would have been bored as shit. You would have fallen asleep. I I would have fallen asleep. Israel Desanya fell asleep. Everyone fell asleep. Damn, everybody really just hating on him. No, it's not even they're hating. It's the truth, dude. You're in there no, to hating. fight. That's hating. Like, like even though it's like, um, like they fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna hate them for fucking up. So yeah, say it. It's not that they fucked up. It's just that they didn't do their job. Yeah, they it's fucked like, up. Yeah, they <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, it's not hate. It's the truth. Hating for something that doesn't make sense is a whole different thing. But it speaking still the falls truth, under the category of hate, though, because I don't, I'm not hating on either of them. I'm saying the truth. I'm mm-hmm. saying that you guys went into fight, you guys didn't fight. What the fuck is up? So you didn't hate the fight. I hated the fight. So it's under the category of hating. But I didn't hate them. I'm not saying you hated them. I'm you hating hated the fight. I guess. Hating. But it's not. But it's hate. Not, it's not. It's but not it's, slang. I could even. I could even say that I didn't hate it. I could even say that it was a terrible match. Okay. I, mean, I don't hate the. I don't hate anything that happened. It's just. It's. To, it was just terrible. Didn't like it. Don't hate it. Agreed. UFC is UFC. UFC is fucking amazing. Agreed. Right. I agree with you there. Yeah. No. Watch. You're gonna see this fight, or you're gonna get pissed. That's all I was. I was just like, dude, what I'm are you not doing? Even watch it. Huh? I'm not even gonna watch it. I'm telling you, nothing happened. No, in, instead, I'm a freaking play as Rose and show y'all exactly how they should fight. Rerun that shit. That's, dude. We've seen Rose. Yeah. No. Whew. We've seen Rose. She's Two, a badass. Two sixty one, my boy. Play the fucking clip when she was squabbling against the uh, uh, Zhang Wei Li. You need oh my oh. gosh! You should have seen that night was spectacular, bro. Be her to, ass, and, bro. And to end it off, it, to end it off, freaking um, Kamaru got the got the KO on on Jorge, mm-hmm. the starlight KO, where the freaking he punched him in the, all the water, just all the fucking out, yeah, like a freaking galaxy of just ass whoopings. It was so beautiful. I was so happy. Not gonna lie, a lot of shit happened in two seventy four. UFC 274. Did it? Yeah. Oh, I seen the KO with Chandler. Chandler my dude, we were, me and my dad were watching it. This is literally a reaction. <gasps> no, Tony, no. Holy <laughs> shit. He got, fuck. Like, we couldn't believe it. We felt so bad. I was hearing, I was hearing shit like, oh, Tony got paralyzed or whatever. And I was like, no. Nah. No, but he, I heard he was just lifeless for a couple minutes. He didn't wake up after two, three minutes or some shit. He called out Daniel Cormier. Who did? Uh, Tony, Tony Ferguson uh, on Twitter. He called him out. What the fuck? But not not in a fighting way. I, I like see. in a way of taking away his Hall of Fame position. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, he's like he's like oh, but this guy can't be off by 0.5 pounds. But you can hold on to the freaking towel and this and that. He said <laughs> he said Tony. Shut up, man. Like, for real. He's like, you, you're still believed that I held a fucking towel? Hmm. I mean, he had his hands on the towel. It, you can see in the video that you're going like this. I don't know. What hey, is. the Hall of Famer champ said he didn't hold the fucking towel. He didn't he hold didn't the fucking, fucking towel. Hold the towel, man. Nah. Like, what, are, what are we going to do? Even so, that? Daniel is a fucking champ. You can't take it. It's like the same thing as Double Charles Oliveira. Same thing as Charles Oliveira. You can't deny that fucker is amazing. Oh yeah, absolutely. Beautiful fighting, bro. I'm I'm glad he beat like even though like I root for Trevor Whitman. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad he beat. Um, I'm glad he beat beat Justin because Justin was really like knocking off everything this man went through. Type shit. He's like, oh, he's a he's still a coward. Like it's it's buried deep down there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know that. Yeah, but that's part of the game. That's just talking shit for the UFC. Yeah, I think so. But you know that uh that TikTok uh where they're like is like um that's something oh he tamed his beast or whatever. Oh, 
He's. Uh, I know you know the sound. He be- oh, I don't know the sound. <sighs> but I was listening to the saying that Justin Gaethje always says. He says, you have to be comfortable in chaos. Mm. That's cool. That cool. <laughs> I remember when he, I think when he first said that, and then Colby Covington, he was like, yeah, you're right. Chaos is in the building, baby. And he's like, shut up, you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always want to see those type of fights. He like, said he would lose in the ring against against Kobe. He said, Justin, but it, Justin yeah. said that? Oh, wow, that's pretty dope. He's, he's like, nah, if it was in the ring, Kobe would get me. He's, he's stronger. He's bigger. Mm. But if it was a street fight, fucking murder him. Yeah, he he said that on the Nelk podcast. You should watch that too. The Nelk podcast with um Justin Gaethje. They Fuck Nelk. But I wasn't ready for, ready there for Nelk. I was there for Justin Gaethje. I want to have an interview with Justin Gaethje. He's dopest. And his YouTube, bro. His YouTube channel is great. No, playing. Nelk, you're cool. I don't really... You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping. Full send. Mongo? Huh? Wait, Jason? Nani? But he has his own YouTube channel too, Justin Gaethje. Okay. And it shows his like basically his training throughout the whole week. Insane. I seen uh Gilbert Burns 12 minute insanity before he went to go hit um um Shamayev. Shamayev. Come shot. Hums up. Hums up. Yeah. That was a good fight. That was a great fight. That man. was what I, I look forward for. That's too. what Hamza was looking forward to too. A good ass. Don't bro with him. Inusha. Unushka. <laughs> Don't stop I kill everyone. Ah! <laughs> I kill everyone. I hate when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> he literally just fucking just starts screaming. <laughs> no, bro. He's a fucking tank. But you see the dedication that these guys put into that thing, bro. <sighs> oh, yeah. These guys are crazy. That's why I can't like talk too much shit on them, bro. Because every time, like, every time I talk shit. And then I, I I think back and I'm like, wait a minute. Fuck am I doing? Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? I feel like a bitch. These dudes killing each other. Justin said in his in his videos, he's like, that's what I like about the sport. That literally anyone could become a champion. It's oh, yeah. not no like you have to wait on somebody. You, literally somebody can go into the UFC right now and become a champion. Yeah. It's like, that's fucking insane. Imagine yeah, just it. beats the champion. Hamza. There's no, there's no fucking, there's no, there's no like internal politics at least from yeah from where we're seeing it like there's nothing really like i don't know hamza was like what number 11 and he went up to number he beat the number two now he's number two now he's who is he going against kamaru no he has to fight someone else i think so too he definitely has to fight someone else bro yeah you can't just go straight for that but i think he does need to fight somebody else i feel like he should fight kobe bro covington yeah oh that'd be a great fight it- Kamaru even said himself, after he's lapped the division, uh, Kobe yeah. Covington is still the best in the division. Kobe, t- dude, and like he's he, a beast. Yeah, you've been saying that a lot. You're like, oh, if Kamaru wasn't champ. Um, I hate that he has that champ. persona, though. I really got tired I love of that it. persona. I love it, too, but it's it, after a while, it gets tiring. Like, I don't want to see it. Every, like, I Connor, Connor's persona was cool. But it wasn't to the point where it was annoying. Like, this motherfucker. It was cool until he started losing. Yeah. <laughs> like, the thing with Ooh. Kobe. Chandler yeah. called him out. Oh, yeah. He called out. Um, he, Everyone calling out fucking. McGregor. Yeah. But I feel like yeah, like when McGregor called out uh, Usman, I really wanted that fight. To, I think I said that already. But I wanted him to kill him. Not kill him. But I wanted him to, like, bury him. And we called out Kamaru? Yeah. You want Kamaru to bury him? Yeah. And he will. Oh, I don't, absolutely. <sighs> no, this, I was rewatching <laughs> some of uh, of uh, McGregor's past fights. Mm-hmm. He has. He, he was about to beat Dustin's ass. I'm dude, not even gonna that's lie. Dustin though. He has no like Dustin's ground game compared to Kamaru's ground game. Two different beasts. That dude. People need to get comfortable with the ground. I get the whole standing up again, but. Mm-hmm. You saw it with Charles. You can't get up sometimes. You need yeah. to be able to control yourself on the fucking ground. Charles will dominate the shit out of anybody. I didn't see that, dude. Really. Dude. I didn't see that one. I need to, I need to go on fullfight.com and just So basically, watch all that shit. if I remember correctly, the way the way it happened, basically they were doing good. You know, Justin was Justin was getting him. He was rocking him, clipping him. Suelo. Sometimes he would fake it though. So that way he was like trying to get him to come into the floor. Mm. Right, so he would hit him. A lot of uh, jujitsu people <laughs> like to fall back. <laughs> I've seen this um, fall back. I've seen this one um uh meme or something. 
And it was like people hating on jujitsu, whatever. It's like jujitsu players, or not, not jujitsu players. Ground game players? No, not ground game players. Um, jujitsu BJJ practitioners, I would say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was like BJJ practitioners when someone breaks into their house and it just shows fucking Travis Oliveira and he's just like <laughs> <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Bro. Yeah. No. It's basically, but it was basically that. And then on one of them, they were just fighting, right? Charles hits him with a nice shot, just straight in. Rocks him, he falls back. Charles goes for it. He's on the fucking floor. Mm. He goes for it. He tries to get something. He gets out of it. And then he transitions to the back, gets his head. Tap. Dude, speaking of MMA, bro, we got my boy, uh, uh, Tony fighting again. Tony's fighting and my boy Kabuda on a Valley, Valley MMA, I believe. Who? Uh, his name's Kabuda. Kabuda. Yeah, I hope I fucking said that shit right. Mm-hmm. I hope I said that shit right. But he's fighting on May 28th, bro. Mm-hmm. Dang. May 28th. That's in two weeks, dude. So, hey, if you're freaking watching this, no, not if. When you're watching this, bro, we wish you good luck, bro. And you better go out there and twist his dick. Twist his dick! That's all I ask. Just <laughs> one, like, I don't care how you win, as long as you just twist his dick. That was that's crazy. That used to be a thing. Remember how used to, they used to punch each other in the dick? Oh yeah, in the UFC. Yeah, I'm glad they outlawed a lot of shit like that. Me that too. Headbutts, uh, face stomps, um, punch S- kick, scratching, stomp. hair pulling. Mm. Oh yeah, I remember you were able to fucking pull hair. Fuck that. Go- Hoist Gracie versus Kimo. Grab this ponytail and just try to control it through there. And he won. <laughs> fucking Kimo, huge dude. I remember. Um, in football, there was uh-huh. this one guy that played on the Steelers, and his thing was like the head slap. Oh, yeah. So you would slap their head, and they'll just like fucking fall. And I was like, I remember they they showed me that in in like uh they showed us that in like some f- like film session, and I tried it. It was a big ass fucking line. And he fucking lights fly on the on the ground. But it was funny. There's this one clip on TikTok that I've seen it a couple of times, but. He um they're wrestling in the in or in a tournament, right? And you know when you first start wrestling, you know, trying to get the the control of the head. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. The guy was smacking the fuck oh. out of him, right? So he went pa. The guy was like, you know what? Gets him in a fucking I I think it was a bicycle cho- or like a something. like something, a choke, dude. But he basically gets him like this, he twists under. I forgot what that shit is called. Just like I think it's a baseball choke. Baseball. Just like that. Boom. And he's just out. Just throws him on the fucking floor. He's like, get the fuck off me. I love that. I remember, uh, I love when like, they show that. No remorse after you've been disrespected. Yeah, because fuck you. Is this, it's a, uh, what's the word? It's a great fuck you. <laughs> That's what I would call it. Unwanted. No, I don't know. It's deserved. Mm. But there is another video where he has him in his, his guard and he just has one hand and he's just like, <laughs> Damn, he has a freaking bald head and he's just like Oh, I think I've seen that. He's just like literally ping and he's just like smacking the fuck out of his head. I think I've seen that before. He just every time he walks in Oh, speaking of taking punches like that, mm. um, I was rewatching Clay Guida. Mm. Very he I think he's too old now for the UFC. I don't think he, I don't even think he's fighting anymore. But if I Google when I Googled him I it said he fought like a couple months ago. Yeah, me too. But yeah. I think he's like a little older now. He lost his last fight. Yeah. But from before, dude. <laughs> yeah, just, he was a brawler, dude. He was bro, insane. holy shit. And he does not get knocked out like that. Holy shit. I don't know how they do it, dude. I like that today in jujitsu they did the, the neck training. Oh yeah. That's I think that's very important too. I felt I felt my neck like feel good after. Like right now my neck feels good. Mm, I'm telling you, once my little brother switches to another jujitsu place. He'll be he'll be nice. He'll be nice with it. Cause over here, I'm telling you, bro. I think that too. They need to start making gyms kid friendly. Cause, Are they not? huh? Are they not? Like, what's wrong? Cause it's like you're here to train. Like I remember in wrestling, dude. When I was a kid, I was like four or five years old, right? Nah, maybe a little I mean, bit. five, six, sorry, go ahead. right? And I was in the wrestling, and they were teaching the kids wrestling, right? But how to fucking wrestle? Like, it was, of course, it's not, like, the same rigged training as, like, the older people. Right. But, no, we were out here wrestling kids. You know, we were, you know, saying, not no bull, you shit. know, that we're just, yeah. like, grabbing each other and shit. No, we're not ready to take each other down. 
I don't see that at that gym that he's at. Mm. And my mom has, hasn't seen it either. And my dad hasn't seen it either. I bet you, like, sprawl? That was one of the first techniques that we learned. Sprawl. You think he'll know how to sprawl? Shit, I know how to fucking sprawl. I'm, I'm, I suck ass. I lost my first match in wrestling. In wrestling? I'm so mad I lost it too, bro. So you actually com- like competed when you were in the wrestling? How long were you in there for? A week. But you, what match? Santiago. You went to a match? Mm-hmm. In your first week? Yeah. What the fuck? They were trying to get me in there freaking like and replace the 190s and shit. That's what 190s? Yeah. What? I was 190. But the fucking dude I was fucking wrestling was like 240. He put me up against a... Bro, 190 fucker. is heavy. That's where I was at though. Yeah, but you want to be down lower. Mm-mm. You want to be wrestling at, the, at a cool 170, 160. Do you think I'm going to fucking lose all that weight? You're insane. No, because you just get the weight and then you just get it back. So that way it makes it easier for you. Mm-mm. That's the thing about wrestling. Dude, yeah. remember Pedro Montes? Uh, yeah, 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 dude. When he was cutting, holy fuck! Yeah, I, I remember. I remember he would, I remember, go ahead. I remember he was in my history class, and I was like, "You good, dude? That water looks so fucking good." I was like, "Really?" He like fuck that. I'm he, not- yeah, he's like, he's like, yeah, but I'm gonna make this cut. I've already lost like twenty pounds. I was like, "Holy shit!" He's like, "Yeah," in the span like of a, like two, three weeks, twenty pounds. I'm like, holy dude, fuck, bro. I love them for like that ripped. discipline that they have, bro. But I'm not I'm not cutting that much weight. Dude. Pedro, if you're fucking watching, bro, you're a badass. Dude. That foot was funny as hell, too. Dude, like, what was I saying? Where you can, like, see, like, all this. I remember they would walk around with, like, a cup, spit. Chen was doing that shit for a while. Like, would, dude, just would, uh, drink water. He would have, a, <laughs> he would have a, his, uh, like, he would have his shirt off or whatever. He was like, look how much fucking skin I have. And he would just pull it out to, like, right here. Cause that's how Who? freaking uh Pedro, bro. Yeah, yeah. He would just have that shit. It looked like freaking Luffy from One Piece, bro. Just like he just snap right back. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. That insane cuts like that are scary. But like, if you can maintain yourself, like for uh, you know, mm-hmm. or like work out in this and that, and then when you're like about to start, okay, you start cutting down, but you maintain that weight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of like. Because 190 is heavy, bro. 190 is not that heavy, dude. Yeah, but you're at 190. You're wrestling against somebody no, who's normally at like, at like 230. Two, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, no. But I was like, I was like 210. But I, I would cut to, I had to cut down to like 190. Mm. 190, 195, bro. But none of that even mattered. What, what weight class is that? 190? I don't know. I ain't no weight class for wrestling. I mean, yeah. Um, but even at that, I was I was a lot stronger than then. So like pushing one ninety, even pushing one ninety now, I can rep that out. You know what I'm saying? Lifting, bench and um, bench and uh, fucking squat, whatever. It's like so in terms of moving people, that was at one ninety. That's still no problem. I th- I think in terms of like wrestling, uh, uh, after one eighty, it takes it's just struggle for me. That's what, like ugh. Shit, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna take a while, but I think below that, it's not as hard. It's not mm-hmm. as difficult. But even at that, wrestling is all leverage, anyways. Or like, I like ground game jujitsu because I don't really know how to wrestle anymore. To be honest with you, jujitsu has stayed with me, but wrestling, like how to pin. Ooh, I still don't know how to pin. Like I can get someone to ground, but pinning, bro, fuck, I can't capitalize on shit. Mm-mm. That's why I like jujitsu a little bit better. I like jujitsu because you can finish. Mm-hmm. You know. So you yeah, you you did the wrestling part already. Congratulations. Now what? You're gonna leave him on the floor laying there? No. But actually that's another thing with um jujitsu. I heard like they don't really train too many takedowns. Mm-hmm. So they weren't too proficient in takedowns. So literally they'll just be like and then some people literally just Because they're not afraid to go to, to get taken down. They're yeah. like, Okay, thanks. You put me exactly where you where I wanna be. <laughs> Welcome Charles. To my trap. You're trapped now. You have fallen into my trap card. Dude, you know, type thing. He- I didn't even know how to throw up a triangle. Other way. I know. I'm like, so <laughs> I didn't know. How, like, I didn't know how to uh, throw up a triangle when I went there. He was like, he was like, oh no, put it like this. And I was like, I synced it, and I was like, oh, shit. You know how to put a triangle? I can't. I can't. Oh, like in the beginning where we had to put like the like. Mm-hmm. I miss that, bro. I still yeah. The only the only um submissions I know to lock in 
is arm triangle and rear naked choke. That's it. Rear naked choke, the arm bar. Arm bar is a good bar one. Too, yeah. And now you, today you learned Americana. Oh yeah, I did learn that one. Dude, nice. that, that was pretty cool. He was like, it was like a lever rather yeah. than a rather than Kimura. Because Kimura is the same thing basically, mm-hmm. but instead it's going back and you're lifting your hand this way. Okay. Like Dude. So you start feeling it in your shoulder. If you play the game, you hear DC. It's like, and he's like, he's like, a lot of people don't understand this, but the show or the um. Those locks or whatever, he yeah, he was like he was like the Americana is not a it's not an arm lock. It's, it puts weight on your shoulders. So yeah, your shoulder that's fucking up. Your shoulder is messing up because your elbow's just like this. Uh, you start feeling it like right here, dude. Did you hear the pop? No, I didn't. When he um when he was uh uh practicing the shoulder lock on the girl, no, on the lady, I mean, I didn't hear it, dude. There's like a pop and I was like, oh shit, what the fuck? Really? Yeah, I didn't hear like a pop, it. But she was like, I don't know what the fuck it was. Yeah, but I just need to learn how to flow. Mm-hmm. Like I, I like I have an idea of how to get to this and that, this and that, but how to like actually it's just muscle memory that I need to get back, you know? Yeah. But it's really fun, bro. I had a lot of fun these past two days. Dude. Yesterday was fun. Today was fun. When I got into MMA and all that, bro, literally everything like started aligning, you know what I'm saying? Like all the shows I was watching, I was watching uh Black Lightning on CW, and then there's this one character named Painkiller, and he was like proficient on every single like uh, martial arts so, and he will teach it type shit and then there's also this one show on Netflix called King and Ashura and that one was also like a martial arts thing and dude if you watch that that's that's what got me into like training and all that shit those two shows especially. Oh, for me it was Dragon Ball Z and just Dragon, Dragon Ball Z. Z yeah Dragon Ball Z that's what got me into like like the because when I was younger I used to watch Dragon Ball Z WWE all that crap you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. Because I, I liked seeing them actually like fucking like Vegeta in his chamber, mm-hmm. Goku lifting fucking big ass amounts of weights. And yeah. then when they eat, love when they eat. Dude, they got, <sighs> they, they got away from the DBZ. Like they, they did more of the training, but they, they got away from the, the, the martial arts side of it. Yeah, they did. You now it was just like whole power level shit, you know? Yeah. That's why I liked Naruto and... Like but I liked how they, they tried to bring it back in Super. Oh yeah, they definitely did. Wait, with uh, when he, Goku was fighting against Khalifa and Kale, or I think it just Khalifa. Khalifa, I think it was just Khalifa. Cause remember he she's like Super Saiyan too, but he's just in his base form, maneuvering yeah. her. He's like, but he, state shit. yeah, but he, and then I think Krillin was like, um, what the heck, this and that, this and that. How is he winning? He's just in his base form, and then Krillin or somebody asked that to Krillin. Krillin just like, yeah, but he's just beating him on pure pe- beating them in pure martial arts. Yeah, that shit's hard, bro. They're street fighters. He's a martial artist. Maneuvers them like nothing. Well, I got into that shit too, bro, because like, like, I knew like if I were to like run into like some hood baby or some shit, bro, and they were going to try and do some crazy, like, you know. Oh, no, I'm going for a takedown. Dude, facts, dude. I'm getting a leg kick. I'm definitely (laughs) kicking their leg. Straight down. (laughs) I've been watching a lot. Ah! Hey, I've been thinking a lot. I've been and I'm watching a lot of like the street fight stuff Mm -hmm. like that. I know I could like stuff like that. I know I can control it, but I have to be careful because these fuckers are crazy. Right? They're out here trying to hurt me. You know, another thing like, like that's just not sanctioned. Like, so like, they're yeah, gonna do some crazy shit. And Somebody's like, gonna come in. Somebody, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. So that's why I avoid the situations. That's what squab activities was all about for a sanctioned squab fest. Yeah, sanctioned squabble. Mhm, mhm, mhm. But I stopped it. Will there ever be a comeback? You should like every once in a while. Every once, in a while. yeah. If you look at the, the your squabble concept. master one though. Yeah, yeah. That would be great. That would be way better. Right. Way better. Not on Okeke TV. Okeke TV will probably be mostly uh, behind like, the scenes stuff, like or you. Yeah. Your personal one, and then squabble is just fucking squabbles. Everything is squabble. <laughs> Bro, I can't wait to see your channel grow. That's just gonna be so cool. Just Dude. fighting, 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 fighting. I need. I told my dad literally before you came. I was like, oh, "But I need. I need the next UFC. I'm running out of stuff to watch on YouTube right now. <laughs> I'm like looking at. It. I've seen a lot of those videos, but I just need the new episode of UFC. Basically, <laughs> he's like, "Yeah, dude. I can. I'll, I'll recommend you some like some good fight. You already watched the Zabit one, right? I think I did. Yeah, the Zabit versus that other dude. Oh uh, yeah, I yeah, did watch that one. That shit was. Really oh, amazing. Daniel Cormier said that he wants um Islam to fight against Charles. 
Yeah, yeah. against Charles. What do you think about Dana that? Wants to see that shit too. I would love to see that. I would love to see it too. I'd love to see it. Like, and then uh, some people are even saying like Tony and um, like that would be that would be the fight that Tony and uh, Khabib never never got. That would be the fight that Tony and Khabib ever got. Yeah. Cause oh. Charles. Uh, I think Charles could beat Tony like nothing. Low key. He mm. could beat Tony. No, Tony was actually winning his match. He was? Yeah, Tony was winning his match. He was rocking Mike with some good shots. No, 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 no. Charles actually beat Tony Ferguson. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen that one then. I've seen him... Boy, you need to watch that one, bro. You need to fucking watch that shit. Oh, my God. When I seen that, I was like, oh, this is why they call him El Kukui, bro. I got into a UFC a little bit after. Um, I got into it on the start of his his demise. So the very first fight I watched was him versus Gaethje. And you know how that shit was. Yeah, you know how that shit Every time I watch that, it gets more and more brutal. Yeah, I watched that with my dad before the fights. And then after, there Get was... Get prepared. Him versus uh, Charles, and then him versus Benil. This dude, El Kukui, there's a reason why he's named that dude. Literally, his his arm was bent. And, like, you know how when you do an arm bar, you know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, yeah, you have it like that. But then there's another level that you can go into it where you put your arm there, and, and then you bend it back. Yep. He bent that shit back, and he had his hips all the way up. His mm-hmm. shit didn't snap, and he lasted the round and still kept going. Your arm's got to hurt after that. I don't know. Even if they didn't get it, your arm has just been cranked on for like a good minute. Your arm is done. Holy shit. Not only that, Benil Daru... Benil? I'm just going to say his first name. Benil, he freaking got... uh, He got his heel hook, right? And you literally see Tony like about to tap. And he's like, fuck. And he's just like, he's like, nah, I'm just going to let it keep happening. And then he, he tired out before... His leg snap uh-huh. type shit, bro. And it was it was insane, dude. You just gotta see it. You, you just had to be there. No, not even you have to be there. You just have to see it. Like I, I'll show you, bro. Don't, dude. The way Tony got knocked out was terrible. But he was winning. I'm telling you, he was winning his fight against Michael. He was getting him some good shots. It's just how Mike said he he saw the opening, went straight down the middle, boom, straight to his fucking jaw, bro. Good kick, beautiful kick, boom. Out. Let me see this shit. And who? This is Charles versus Tony. Oh. 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 Bro, saved by the fucking bell. Dude, he just get like. Look at this fucker, bro. He could have broken that for sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I've seen that shit happen. One more second and it would have been gone. Yeah, see, like, stuff like that. and Like, they need to learn how to get out of shit, not just do it. Because I've seen a lot of people get caught. I'm like, dude, you can get out. You can get out. You can get out. Right there. Get out. Get out. And they just lay there. And I'm like, dude, no. Jiu-Jitsu. Fundamentals. Hip escape. But right there, no, he couldn't get out. You know how some fighters are like that? They're like, no, I'm never tapping. Yeah, that's that's dumb shit. There's some people that... Right? I remember uh, when we would do like... We uh, were doing Nogi in our uh, my homie's uh, garage. Mm-hmm. And then this one of our homies just wouldn't fucking, he wouldn't tap. And I'm like, bro, what are we proving right now, bro? What are we <laughs> just looking right all now? red and shit. Man, she's like, <laughs> I'm like, bro, like, I hear your muscles ripping apart. Like, stop. The next day, he's just walking around like this. <laughs> so, what's up, bro? <laughs> what? <laughs> Catch it. Catch what? <laughs> my hand full. Fucking macaroni while he's walking and shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking spaghetti arms. No, dude. After something like that, your arm definitely's gotta hurt, dude. Especially as the years go by. Like you try to, I, I've, I've been saying it too. Like, oh, and I'm staying young forever. Like, I'm never, I'm not getting old, and I hate, I don't like that. What that idea of getting old. Mm. But like aging, I get it. It's natural. 
But like to the point where my body doesn't work or work the same. Can't yeah, do that. I think after 35, I just. What? It's going to jump off a cliff or something. At 35? Yeah, 35. 35? 35. Really? <laughs> so you're saying after 35, you just call it a day. You know what? Call it a day. Call it a life. Call I'm it- out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here, dog. Uh, me, I think a good. If I die in the range of. S- s- I don't know, bro. That, that's not even I think 80 think 80 is like if if my body if I'm feeling good at 80 I'm I'm feeling good I don't fucking care I'm enjoying life I'll be in the Porsche in the, in the Porsche in the in the front porch just freaking on a, on a swing with a nice blunt you know just you know at 80 just vibing 80 enjoying vibing life I already your, did all the work all your grandparents now I'm just like grandparents grandkids my grand like I just have a big ass house I just did I did all the work already you know mm-hmm. now I'm just Enjoying life Fuck day by that. day. Fuck that. Really? 35. You get, Bro, after 35, you, no, dude, there's so much to live for. There's, <laughs> I'm is not, there? Yeah, there is. There's the whole world that you got to see. At 35, if you're calling it a day after 35 and you haven't done shit, no, nah, I got to, I got to, I have a life here on earth. I'm going to spend all of it. Hey, everybody back home, 35. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom and dad are like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, now, what is this? Hey, now, what is this? What are you saying? What? 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 At 35, I'll kill you. <laughs> Myself <laughs> for that shit. <laughs> fuck. But really, 35, like, you know, no nah, joke? I'm playing. Oh, I was about to say. Nah, dude. There what is would be like a good old. good age? Like, you know what? 105. 105? Yeah, I just want to have that, that. I just want to go up to. Wait, I feel like in the after. I feel like in the afterlife, uh, you think in the afterlife you 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 you're resurrected as your in your prime. Like you think you're like in the heavens, like in your prime type shit. You know oh I'm yeah, I think so. Or what if like you go there and like or you just your old moment? I'm like three. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I fucking suck, dude. I want to I want to go to the gates and you just be able to 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 select. What age you oh, want. Create your avatar. <laughs> <laughs> Dead ass, bro. It's like, bro. I'm, I'm a cool 26. Facts. You know? Like, dude, honestly, it should be like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you already set out this life for me. I'm living. I'm walking the path. You know what I'm saying? Let me create my own path. Yeah, you yeah. know? Create my avatar. I, I always say if I were to die and come back as an animal, it'd be a bear or a cat. I'd be a wolf. Mm, wolf. Yeah. I feel like they're always competing against each other, but it's like a bear. Mm. I know a pack of wolves will... But like bears are cool. They just relax, enjoy life. Every once in a while, they have to be a beast, which they can be. Wolves always got their pack, man. Always got their pack. I'm just going to be in the freaking river, catching salmon and shit, eating some berries. Yeah, until I fucking hunt you. Like Takamura. Nah. Have you seen that? Ajime no Ippo? What? Ajime no Ippo. No, I have not seen that. It's this boxing anime. I don't really watch animes. Oh, yeah. huh? But there's this... uh. Or TV in general. I was starting to watch the Batman movie, but I it was already late, so I was like, "No, nah, I'm gonna fall asleep." Yeah, it's just like three hours too. Yeah, I don't. It was like that. one a.m. last night, and I was about to watch it, and I was like, "Nah." Yeah. Just, just be my meat. Go to sleep. <laughs> 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 no, I'm playing. I'm on semen retention. No, no, I was about to say. I was like, well, "Didn't you say that?" But nah. We don't want to ask you. <laughs> I was like, I feel like that's private. Private info. It's not private. I'll show it off right now. You want to see private? <laughs> I'll show you. So you don't know who I am? Squabble Master. <laughs> Twist is dick. Master, my name is Christopher. Dude, I used to hate that name. Christopher? Christopher. Because it's like, what the fuck? Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Chris? Like, Chris? Like, remember this one girl, she would always be like, Christopher? I'm like, what the fuck? Stop calling me that. Like I, Nicholas? I barely like Okiki. Do you think Christopher and Nicholas are like the same? Go hand in hand. Nicholas, Chris, Nick. Nick, know. Chris, Nicholas. I don't know. Chris just seems like a Christopher. Like a like an innocent ass white boy name. Nicholas. <laughs> Chris. Chris. What would be another one? Like William? Will? William? Dick? Dick? What's no. what's the full thing? That's Richard, no? Oh yeah, that is Richard. William is Bill. Billy. 
Bill. Joe? Rogan. Ah, Joe Rogan's such a guy, man. Facts. No, every time every time we bring him into a conversation, it just excites me. Joe Rogan's a it's a one of a kind type of dude, bro. He's he's dope as shit. I'm glad everyone came to his defense too. Hell yeah, he's not a bad person. You can't just go. Oh, he said something. Kill him. No, he's a cool person. Yeah, <laughs> shit happens. Like in Forrest Gump. Jenny. 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 Hey, have you ever encountered a Jenny in your life, bro? A toxic. I don't know what the fuck. Or somebody Jenny? with AIDS. Nah, just the trope of Jenny. Jenny wasn't characterized by AIDS. Yeah, she but was... she got AIDS at the end of the movie. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> mm, yeah, I mean, I don't think so. I don't think I've I've seen a Jenny. I feel like my whole life has been surrounded by Jennies. Jennies. <laughs> no. No, I'm playing. I have seen no Jenny. I surround myself with good people. What if I don't? What do you mean? What if I surround myself by Jennies? Mm, that's on you. I don't know what to tell you. Thanks. All I could tell you is stop. <laughs> that's I it. tell you is stop. <laughs> nah, I've always surrounded myself with good energies and shit. That's why I'm always high charisma until I started working. I feel like some people get on my ass for that. Hmm. For like, uh, I'm like, no, what do? You, like, why are you saying that? You Keep know what? Positive. What pissed me off? A lot of people are like, oh, you're too friendly. That's some bullshit. Like, I'm what? the friendliest person ever, but it's like. I will sm- so I'll still smack you. Shut up. <laughs> oh, you'll still smack someone. Do you see? This guy's so fucking contradicting, bro. Why are you saying you'll smack someone and you're talking about... But did we say last time, if they're deserving of a smack, they're deserving of a no, smack. That's what I say. You said, no, 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 no. No, because I also I also said... I also said, no, nah, you know if you're deserving of a run smack. Run the tape back. I'll run the tape back and I'll put it in. <laughs> you're going to be like, oh. <laughs> you're, you're just, there, there's a video ad that I edited for a reason, dog. Nah. I had to rewatch we're that shit so many times. No, not the clips. We're gonna rerun the whole shit. They're just a three yeah, hour like, long thing because <laughs> I put the other episode right there. <laughs> just right here it starts playing. So I see watch and put the chapters. You're like, when does this clip end? <laughs> how, how, how do you um how do you you know how to put the chapters in your um YouTube videos and all that? I've yeah. been seeing that a lot. Yeah. You know how to do it? Yeah. Huh. It just takes a while. She has to go back and like rewatch and then put a Marker, marker, marker. marker. Uh. Or I think if I don't know, but I have seen on some other YouTube channels that in the comment section there's somebody that puts in the timestamps of yeah, like that's dope when shit. it start when it starts and stops, starts and stops, and like what every conversation means. Right. And I think it goes into the into the YouTube thing, or like if like if the creator accepts it, they're like, yeah, that's right. You can mm. put that. So the boom. I remember. Or like the- cr- subtitles. People put in their own subtitles. People can the creator can accept it and leave it there. Still, I think so, but I don't know for sure. I remember the beta, like the beta shorts or whatever, like when shorts were in the beta mode for mm-hmm. YouTube. I remember I made like a little video, and then um, yeah, I made the video, and because it was less than thirty seconds, it just automatically uploaded as a short. So oh, I yeah, kept, I kept doing that, and then I thought it was going to do it, and then. Didn't work no more. So I was like, fuck. I've noticed that too. It, it does it by itself sometimes. But mm-hmm. when you upload it normally, it does. Like Dude, I need to stop video. pulling out my hair again. I freaking started that shit when I was in fourth grade. Pull out your hair? Yeah, dude. Literally, I'll just like pull out like. Damn. Dude, I have no pain. Yeah, what the fuck? You didn't feel shit. I just, that just came out. You heard it too. It yeah. Like- <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the, the internship? Funny ass movie. It's a great ass movie. You need to watch it. But basically, he goes to work for Google. Mm-hmm. To him and his friend, they're like fifty years old, forty or five years old. But they go to Google. You know, hip mm-hmm. youngsters, all computer engineers, this and that. Yeah, what the hell? But he goes. They go to uh, Google and try to get a job, right? And there's this one guy. He's Asian, and you know how like the whole Asian stereotype, like or not even stereotype, because my friends, some of their parents are like that, very strict, you know. Yeah. But his mom. He's like, his mom would like read the shit out of him or something. It was mean? Like, yeah, she was mean. Mean or stern? What's the difference? What's, what's stern mean? Stern, mean is like you're a fucking asshole. Stern is like you have your, you have your disciplines. You both. Them to, okay. Both. Okay. Th- there's levels to that. You're both. You're just yeah, an asshole. Okay. Like, I get you're trying to care for your kid, but you're, you're a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Dude, but like, you're a fucking asshole. Yeah, you're a fucking asshole. Like, come on. You literally kill it. 
<laughs> basically but no um and every single time like throughout the movie he's just like this okay you killed yourself every time he like messes up he goes he's like what are you doing punishing myself i did a bad job and i have to punish myself oh and in the movie he has no eyebrows <laughs> <laughs> put like a sharpie and shit and, and there's a there's a scene in the movie where they get like in a bar fight mm-hmm. boom my mother hits harder than you <laughs> it's on back funny Bro, that's that's hilarious. Stuff like that in movies. Dude. I'm gonna put little scripts like that. We I feel like we should we should work on one. Let's do one today. Fuck it. Let's do it. This is like a small little TikTok uh skit. I mean, just a conversation is like how we have it like now. Let's do it. Dude, can you can Your you eyes just crossed. <laughs> you scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you were just no looking straight and you went. <laughs> <laughs> There's a there, you see this uh what they were like, um Oh, uh, if you're a you're a killer, if your eyes can glance through from one side to the other side. Whoa, what do you mean? Yeah, so it's like if you can like, like if you can glance like your. Oh, eyes. like without like yeah. it, like just normally like that smoothly yeah. instead of going. Yeah. Nah, it's like slowly, like you're stalking your prey type shit. No, I don't think I do it. I can. You know the trick to actually do it. But it's like it's because if I'm looking, if I'm stalking your prey, then yeah, I'm targeting them They're just mm-hmm. like that. Oh, like what's his name? Mike Tyson. The guy's just like this, trying to wait. I contact. He just. He's a- that shit is so fucking so. Ugh. Gets your blood pumping. It's like fuck, man. Scary as hell, bro. The intimidation factor. Hell yeah. If you get if you go into a fight intimidated. Better suck it up. You're gonna lose. Uh, wh- even if you go into it intimidated, you better like mid fight. You better say, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do this shit. Just understand that there is no such thing as man without fear. I've been hearing this a lot lately. I don't know why, but it's been uh, me and my dad were talking about it too. But it's been coming up on my for you page a lot. It's been saying like, uh, oh no, the the people you need to fear the most aren't the ones with the most experience. Or it's, it's the ones that have never been in a fight, like because mm-hmm. you don't know how long they've been waiting for that opportunity to finally mm-hmm. be in a fight or. What they've been holding in. So you don't know how they're going to come out. How they're going to unleash themselves. Right. Right. Like, that is true. That is very fucking true. Like, would you rather would you rather fight against a tamed beast or? A beast that hasn't eaten. Exactly. In 10 days. In 10 days. 10 years. That's insane. <laughs> nah, see, that's, that's, that's why it was, I remember when their, Chris Cyborg was fighting. Um, oh yeah and like it it was just when um it was just when what the fuck my hair is on my damn hair but it was just when (laughs) it was just when she had just came off that that crazy um weight cut she was over there and they're crying Uh, yeah i remember and yeah (laughs) she was like like they're like oh yeah that would be insane like scary to be in a cage with a woman like that or someone like a person like that because like fuck, you haven't eaten, haven't done any of that, and literally when you're looking at the person, you're like fuck, you're the reason why I had to do that. You have to die. That's scary. Like a phoenix, come back from the ashes. Yeah, I think that's a good topic to end it at. We're at one hour and thirty five minutes. Are we? Yes, sir. Wow. Wow. Hey, what's up? Nothing. I just said hey. Hey. Go ahead. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys happen to enjoy, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload either shorts or the full episode. Um, don't know when this is coming out. Definitely over the weekend, like usual. Copy your Kickback Podcast merch. Available down in the description. I'll see you guys all later. Follow us on all of our socials, TikTok, and on Instagram. This is my croc. I've been Joan. <laughs> and he has been Okeke. Okay, okay. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all later. We out. Middle camera, middle camera. I forgot that camera was even there. Me too, Loki. <laughs> <laughs>